guys and welcome to Two Guys in a Van. In today's episode, we'll be doing an unboxing of the Dometic Penguin 2 air conditioner, which you can see right here. Uh, we decided to put that on top of our conversion van, uh, plus one Maxer fan that we have installed. So we'll be doing the installation of that today. Now, if you decide to go with an air conditioning unit such as this one, make sure that you also buy the air distribution box this stuff right here. Make sure you do your research. Uh, we almost ordered just the air conditioning. Thankfully, we read the reviews on Amazon and it said that it actually doesn't come with the air distribution box. What's in this box is just the unit that goes on top of your van or motorhome. It's just the top. The stuff that goes inside that actually controls the temperature and everything is not included. You have to buy that separate. So, um, that comes in the box right here so without any further ado let's let's get to the unboxing and let's see what's inside here and remember this is a pretty heavy unit it's a hundred pounds just for this part so you definitely need someone to be working with you to help you get it on top of the van or the model home that you're installing it on okay so let's get started Okay, so let's get the box open. Hopefully I'm not making your motion sick with all the movements, I'm trying to keep it a little steady. So inside the box we have the, we have the top unit that sits on top of your roof right here. I don't know if you can see this, but the case looks pretty thick and sturdy. So that's good, it should last a pretty long time. Uh, other than that, we have the limited two year warranty. Uh, for air conditioners and heat pumps. So I guess you gotta make sure to register it online. I'm not really sure how it works. Gotta uh, take it out and read it, find out how, how that operates. Um, it would be nice if I were able to see if there's anything else in this box. Um, I'm really, really hoping that there's a template for this thing. Uh, that shows you where the hole is going to go on the roof, the 14 by 14 inch opening. We don't have a pre-existing hole since this is a Mercedes Sprinter uh, conversion van that we're building. So um, a template would be really helpful because it looks like it will be pretty complicated to just slide this thing around. It's, it's 100 pounds. So it is on the heavy side. So let's get this opened up. <sighs> we haven't really been putting out any videos lately because it's been raining uh, for seven days straight, pretty much, nonstop. So we weren't able to get anything done. It's been it's been raining. We were at work. We didn't get around to to do any filming whatsoever. Well, hope I'm not making you dizzy guys let's see so over here we have some bolts to attach it to to the main unit I'm assuming seems pretty sturdy I guess this is the brains of the operation uh, what the thermostat looks like some venting and some knobs in there to um, Keep it nice and cool. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with a digital thermostat. Not really sure how the installation on that would work. So it looks like you kind of just set it. Um, doesn't tell you the exact temperature that you're going to get. So it looks like you just kind of set it with the knob and I guess it runs the, the whole time. But yeah, basically this will only be used if we're connected to shore power. I'm sure we can uh, run off of our solar panels as well but it will drain the battery really really quickly so we really don't want to do that but the fan inside the ac unit itself um, is supposed to be a 12 volt fan so we could have that turned on just for air circulation uh, so that should work let's put this away and uh, I'm just waiting for Ray to get back from shopping and um, 
we'll get started on the installation of this thing and excuse the mess out there. It's, it's a garage. We're in the middle of getting stuff ready for garage sales. So it's a little bit messy in here. Actually, a lot messy in here. So let's get installing. Say it again. I did pretty good, thanks to the table. Okay. You held it kind of straight. Let's see. I still got to tap those screw holes. Let's see if we get that stuff working. Okay, so it's got to size. Hopefully it's not too short. Dun, dun, dun. Measure twice, cut once. To avoid drilling too many holes in the roof of the van, we decided to go with 80-20 stuff to create a frame for our solar panels. So you can see us using a mock-up uh, of what the panels are going to look like. Once we figure out exactly where they need to sit, we'll tighten down the uh, roof rails so they don't move and we can proceed with the installation of the AC unit. Remember to use blue tape so that way when you use the jigsaw uh, it keeps the metal shavings to the minimum. What you want to do next is drill a pilot hose with a step drill bit in each corner of the opening that you're going to create. That way you could get the blade of the jigsaw in there to start cutting. After you cut off your opening for the air conditioning unit, make sure to apply Rust-Oleum protective enamel to the edges of the raw metal that you have. That way you prevent rusting in the future in case water gets in there. So it's good to take the extra couple of minutes to get this done than to suffer the consequences later. Next, use a clean rag and rubbing alcohol to clean the area surrounding the opening that you just cut out off of any oils and road grime. That way the gasket for the air conditioning has a nice contact surface. Looks like we got a perfect match. It looks like we got a pretty good fit here. Uh, I lined it up with the top pretty well. We have two um, foam gaskets on here. Uh, we were going to go with just one, but because of this little ridge, we decided to go with the second one that we purchased to add it on. So that, would, that should work out fine. Once we get the screws in, um, they should pull the two gaskets together really well and seal off any, any water drips. So the next thing to do is uh, connect the air distribution kit and that will be happening next. But we're really happy with the way this lined up. It was, uh, 
it wasn't too tricky getting it onto the roof because we had help. Shout out to my cousins, uh, Carolina and Bojana. They helped us drag it upstairs. Um, I think you might be able to see them on the video helping us. But yeah, huge thanks to them. They really helped a lot. And yeah, I guess we're going to have the unit up in um, probably another 30 minutes. Okay guys, so when you open the box for the air distribution uh, box and you see that it only has three bolts inside it, don't do what we did. We went crazy crawling all over the floor trying to see where we dropped the fourth bolt for the installation. Uh, this unit actually only uses a, it uses a three bolt pattern. So two bolts go in the front of the unit and one bolt goes in the back. So don't think that there's supposed to be four bolts. There's only three bolts included with the air distribution box kit. We have the AC in place now in order to get the air distribution box in place we would have to have a finished ceiling which obviously we don't have yet so what we're going to do is put some batting up to get the insulation in place for now and just um, use spray foam to foam it in place so it's being held up and hope for the best Okay, so what we're going to do now is just foam this piece of insulation in so it's being held in place with the expandable foam. We're using Titan Extreme Temperature Foam. Hey guys, so Many people don't really like drilling holes uh, into the roof of their van when they're doing the build out. So um, to get the insulation in place uh, up here, what we decided to go with is uh, zip ties, like so. Create some loops, just fish them through. Fish them through with your finger and put battens then zip it in place to hold the insulation. Now, you can see there's a little gap. That's not a problem. You'll get it, um, you'll get it tight with some shims. So as you can see, sorry for the low light. You got the battens here, zip ties holding them in place. Just put shims to get the insulation pressed against the ceiling and use expandable foam to basically glue it all together and hold it all in place. Good morning guys, we're back on day two of the air conditioning unit installation. The weather in New Jersey did not hold up, we spoke too soon, it was nice and sunny yesterday, got some major sunburn uh, because I wore a tank top, but today it's back to rainy, gloomy and cloudy. So first thing in the morning we had to get out of the house and try to compress the seal and that's on the bottom of the AC unit, pressing against the, pressing against the roof. Uh, that seals out any moisture getting in. However, when we started the installation, what we didn't realize is that you need to have a finished ceiling in place already. And we didn't even have insulation in this, uh, in this cavity. So uh, last night we put new insulation up. Now the actual air distribution box has something to grab onto, so it rests against the um, against the insulation however when you look here when you look here uh, the other part of it rests on the, the rib of the van and it bends the plastic slightly so we're able to compress the seal a little bit but we will have to get um, uh, when we're ready to finish up the ceiling we'll have to uh, take this off and put on the finished ceiling to really complete the seal but for now it should be okay 
uh, hopefully it won't rain too much but the seal is pretty compressed already so we're hoping that's not going to be a problem now if you have any questions or comments please leave them below uh, don't forget to click uh, thumbs up and subscribe take care